this here's Homer the Homesteader down at the homestead. First time you'll get to see Horatio and I together, and we're talking about the future site of our greenhouse where we are going to be growing some vegetables organic like for us over the winter and to share with other folks too. So here I'm going to let the expert, Horatio, he's the smart one, tell you a little bit about why we selected this here site. All right, Homer, <laughs> thanks for the great introduction. So, welcome to Peace of Eden Homestead. Um, we want to eventually get to the point where we're producing all of our own food on the homestead. And to make that possible, we want a nice big greenhouse. Uh, we've looked around the property quite a bit. There's a few different things we've took, taken into consideration for the greenhouse. One of the big things was um, the ease of access from the house which is right over here and we've got the garden right here and we're planning on putting the greenhouse right back here um, another thing we considered is we try not to make too big of a footprint on the land and in this area most of the trees are fairly small that we're gonna have to take out because our greenhouse is going to be roughly 1600 square feet and most of the trees that we'll be taking out are quick growing trees like spruce and we'll probably leave the the big maples and birch trees that are in here and that way they'll cast a little bit of shade in the summer which won't be that big of a deal it'll help keep the greenhouse from overheating quite so much but in the winter here in Michigan where it gets really cold the sunlight needs to get to the greenhouse to keep it warm enough. So the deciduous trees will drop their leaves and the sunlight can get down in there in the winter and still keep it warm enough. Things about the greenhouse is you want good sunlight most of the time. And it becomes an issue in the winter in Michigan because we're at about 42 degrees latitude where we're at, which means the sun in the winter is way down in the south at 42 degrees. So these trees over here that we want to keep on the far side of the driveway are going to cast shade way down this way all winter. And so we need to make sure that when we put the greenhouse in, we're far enough back that that shade doesn't shade out the greenhouse in the winter. Okay, so back here where we're going to put it, um, of course we're going to have to clear these trees out of the way. But we're also going to take the bulldozer and scrape off the topsoil so we can use that in the planting beds inside rather than wasting it. And then we're going to dig down about 18 inches um, deep and that'll give us some heat conservation in itself. But um, then when we, build the, uh, when we build the greenhouse, we're going to backfill the whole north wall with soil or or um, sand and then a little bit down each side and that will also conserve the heat and we may even go so far as to put some underground tubing beneath the greenhouse and pump the heat from the top of the greenhouse underground and what that'll do is it's like a big heat sink so that during the day when the greenhouse gets super hot instead of just opening windows to let that heat out it pumps the heat underground and then the ground absorbs that heat and then at night when it's colder, it can release that heat into the greenhouse to keep the temperature much more consistent inside the greenhouse, which should be a lot better to keep the plants at a more steady growth rate. Would having a little pond help uh, with some fish in the greenhouse and that heat stuff you're talking about, Horatio? <laughs> yes, actually we've considered that. Um, uh, if we put fish tanks in there or a pond in there, the water will also be a heat sink and having the fish in there we can also gather their waste and use that to fertilize the, the um, plants inside the greenhouse. Thank you for your expertise Horatio. You're Thank you very much Horatio, he's a smart one, for giving us that informative and educational bit on why we picked this here spot for our greenhouse. I'm up here in the middle of July looking forward to some real hard work and getting started on this greenhouse so when I move back up here in November I have something to eat. Please don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to us here on YouTube as we learn about being out here in the wilderness and homesteading. And hopefully you learn something along the way. You can also follow us on Facebook at Peace of Eden Homestead. I think it's the same for Instagram, except with some underscores in between the words. Like, share, and subscribe.